No, see, I don't write for the finger snaps. Yeah. Only to glorify he who keeps my fingers attached. So I pray you listen to what the words say and don't get carried away in all the wordplay because I don't write for the finger snaps. Only to glorify he who keeps my fingers attached. The first piece is called Reflections. Light shimmers off his brittle smooth surface. His silver undercoat has never been so precious. I glance at it and glancing back is me glancing at it. I'm captivated by my own reflection. Not content with the momentary glance, I stare. It seems I'm glancing into the eyes of vanity. And this body is his jester. I'm here for, it, for its amusement. Perfection personified. I mean, no one is perfect, but I shimmer in the light and I know I'm pretty close. Sometimes, as I stare, I'm drawn into, a, into the black hole, the gateway of my soul, my pupils. And I'm taken to a place where I'm surrounded by myself, the sun of my cosmic solar system. Everything revolves around me, and anything found not paying homage, anything found not paying homage to my preeminence is severed from its orbit. I will no longer sustain it. I'm self-centered. <laughs> but my pride escorts my eyes away, building a nothing to see here placard. Vanity comes back into focus only to be overshadowed when I witness the sheer lack of faith I hold towards the God I claim to believe in. Don't get me wrong, he's there but has no power or influence in my situation. His hands are bound by my nightmares and his ears are deafened by my screams. He has no power to provoke change. Any loss in change that is, angels, spirits, even a resurrection is a fable. All I'm left to do is live as best as I can, buy the book and enjoy the blessings I can. For after death, all my works will stink. Ghastly horror overshadows my face and my heart sinks as I'm sad to see that I'm a Sadducee. <laughs> my pride escorts my eyes away, warding with nothing to see here, placard. I'm led once again into, into the grips of vanity. But even it couldn't draw my attention away from the next side. Me, standing as a shimmering, beat, shimmering pillar in society with all eyes fixated on me, like I was a reflection of a laser pointer in the midst of cats. I stood prestigious, their speech seasoned with reverence, and I was thoroughly savoured to their taste. I publicly affirmed the nature and acts of my Lord, even the supernatural, but inwardly placed a no entry sign over my heart, for they housed monuments to my achievements and a tabernacle to my excellence. Faced with my idolatry, I was broken, realised that I was nothing more than a Pharisee. But my pride escorted my eyes away, rolling on nothing to see here, placard. I peered into the perfect law of liberty, with the glory of God shimmering through it. And instead of seeing a broken man, I saw a broken mirror. For I knew I wasn't perfect, but I was close enough, right? Because I'm a good guy, right? <laughs> 